Did you know that Sony is terrible at photography? If you believe what you're reading online? Let's discuss that because I don't agree and there are many reasons why I don't. So let's discuss the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V and the results in terms of camera. Because what you are being told is not the complete story at all and they are using it wrong. Yeah, normally I wouldn't say that counts but in this case definitely that counts. Either way, let's dive into the video and showcase why the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V are being used wrong. And this is coming from a person that still needs to learn a lot when it comes to manual photography. Especially on the Sony. Because yes, it does take a little bit more time to get used to it. Let's dive into the essence of Sony phones, understanding their target audience and showcasing what these phones are really capable of. While acknowledging my ongoing learning curve to fully harness the potential of these Sony's phones, I recognize that they're excellent in the capable hands. While I can capture impressive shots with both the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V, I will have two people in the link of the description to showcase what they can really do at those moments. Don't forget to say hi for me to them as well. Now, addressing the prevalent issues of online reviews of Sony phones. It boils down to not delivering the right information to the consumer, which is our responsibility as reviewers. And this is not meant as an attack to Marcus or anyone else. I, for instance, saw his review on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. He mentioned things he liked to see different when it comes to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, such as not having a 4K display and a smaller form factor. And other things that he described were basically the 5 series, a smaller sibling of the 1 series which omitted those specific features. But those details become secondary when we have to discuss the photography and videography of the Sony devices. And I fully understand that Marcus caters primarily to the point and shoot audience. It is important to acknowledge the existence of users eager to explore the depths of mobile photography, wanting to see how this Sony actually performs. Given his substantial reach and influence, he will simply be placed high in the YouTube search rankings, making people believe that the Sonys aren't really capable. Even more so with his latest video on the best camera on a phone, of 2023 where funny enough the two that are the best in understanding photography are at the bottom the sony xperia 1 mark 5 and the xiaomi 13 ultra and i understand that a part of it is down to the audience that does again prefer that point and shoot it is also important to use the phone properly and how it's supposed to sony doesn't market their phone as a point and shoot you can see a lot of videos from them showcasing how to properly use the phone and what this device is capable of See what I mean? See the details Sony can capture. And again, this is from someone who's still trying to learn and improve upon this. I would really advise watching people like Koki, I, I hope I said that properly, and Ola Nielsen. Both of them are in the link of the description because simply put, they are better than me. But let's talk about how you should really approach photography when it comes to the Sony Xperia 1, Mark V and the 5 Mark V and why it is never meant as a point and shoot. To begin with straight away, you can tell starting the camera app itself that the approach is nothing like your normal phone. It is a camera app that looks more like you're dealing with a DSLR 
and that is what it's supposed to be. While the basic and auto will do a decent job, just jump to manual mode. Play around with your shutter speed, the ISO, the white balance and so on to get the shot how you want it to be. And if you think it ends here, well it depends. With Sony I often go to Lightroom and play around, which where it excels. The war capture where it can be a little bit grainy, especially when it comes to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and of course the zoom lens itself, it allows a lot of details to be captured on the phone itself, especially with the new sensor on the main sensor for both the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V. Although I will say that I feel like the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V delivers a bit better quality. But with learning these things, you can really elevate shots that you decided to capture on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. This phone is really capable in the right hands. So you think that's all for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V? No it's not. While I'm of course focusing mostly on photography on my channel, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the 5 Mark V can both do things that most phones cannot. We've got video at 120 frames per second at a resolution of 4K. Most phones are limited at that 4K resolution to 60 frames, but this means you can slow down the footage 4 times and still have 30 frames per second, giving you a really nice slow motion effect and of course even more at 24 frames per second. And while I'm aware that this is again not something for a point and shoot person to care about, people who want their phone to be also their camera definitely will. This again highlights the different approach for Sony, which again made their own highly sophisticated video capturing app giving the user full control over the footage to capture it like they want like no other. At the end, this video is not a dick meant towards MKBHD, I know the audience that he has. He has that audience that lost point and shoot photography, bright saturated Instagram kind of shots. I'm not that kind of person and when it comes to photography, I know that a lot of people who love photography would earlier pick the ones that are at the bottom too. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. They are vastly superior when it comes to capturing the soul of a shot. And I will die on that hill because it really is. Either way, let me know what you think about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, the Sony Xperia 5 Mark V. What you think about the video that they've done? Do you feel like the Sony should be there if they don't use it properly how it's supposed to use? Do you feel like that's kind of misinformation when it comes to the performance of said phone? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and everything like that. And talk to you guys in the next.